Today, we're going to bring a nice, beautiful projector. We're going to set it up today and see what you get when you get something like this. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, if you guys can see, this is pretty much what you get. You get the instructions. You get the projector. You get the control. Then you get a bunch of cables. This is a power. You get a HDMI. You get an AV system with a, included with the audio. You got your audio connection in here, a 3.5 jack, and then you got your AV connection, and you got one, two USB. So if you have a USB that you want to transfer some videos, or you want to convert them and put them in there, you can do that. Two HDMI's that you can have two different uh, sources coming out of there. So you, you could have your PlayStation one, you could have your Nintendo Switch on the other one, and you could rotate from each one. On the top of it, you got options. You got plenty of options. You got the, and then you have your actual controls in here. Soft touch base. Of course, you got your IR here. And then you got your, if you guys could see, you get your different oval shapes that you could actually move the bigger away from the wall and it's kind of crooked size. You were able to manage that stuff. Underneath the bottom, they do have a mount. So if you're gonna mount this on the, on the ceiling, you can mount this. It has the actual feet stand. It has one stand that it goes up. And then these are rubber ends, of course, and nothing much, but we're going to set it up and see what you get. So you also get the IR in the front and in the back. So in case it's backwards for you. So we're going to set it up and see how it works. All right, let's take a look at the actual projector itself. All right. And we're, we have a bunch of options here. We got iOS. This is Miracast. And if you want to use your Google Drive or anything else or your iPod, you, your iPad, you can do that. AV connection settings. And then we got multimedia. This is for videos. And then iOS cable. We're going to do HDMI 1. Right now we have our computer set up. And it's picking up. It's picking up at 1080. If you guys notice. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. And we're going to make. We're going to put no audio for it out. We're going to go ahead and play something big. And play the video. And you can see how large the actual screen is. Right now I'm really close to it. So I'm not getting the exact footings, but if you put this a lot further back, you can see the good quality of it. And it's still, I don't see any pixelation. We're doing this at 4K, so not that bad. It's really loud. It's actually pretty good. So the audio is really loud. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. So we're going to continue with the video and see how loud, besides the actual audio, we're going to try the other things too. To set up your mirror cast, you need to go to settings, all right? You need to set up settings. You need to go set up the Wi-Fi first. You need to find the Wi-Fi connection. Make sure that you're at 2.4. You have to be in the same network. So we're going to set up this one here. We're going to put our password right now. So we're going to go home. Then we're going to go to iOS cask and start casting. So now it's going to start setting up the casting system. And if you do mirror now, you should be able to see it in there. And if you guys can see the network, it came out right here, Netlink. Go ahead and do that. So we got it connected now. We're completely on our iPad. And I'm going to show you the iPad if you guys don't believe me. Look at that. I'm on the iPad completely. So now I'm able to control. And we're gonna go into a movie. We're gonna push play, and I'm and I'm gonna mute it for now. I'm able to cast the actual movie from my iPad into it automatically. The audio is playing on the speakers, um, so it's really loud. So I had to turn it. I had to pause it too. But if I don't want to watch a movie, I could just go down. If you guys can see that, it's going to go into anything you want. I have all of my settings, games, pretty much anything I want on my iPad. So I'm marrying the iPad. If you guys can see that. I like that option. Now we're going to do our phone. All right. So we're going to do an Android phone. Now we're going to get out from here. Go do an Android phone. So we're going to go home. Go home. All right, on your Samsung Galaxy, I have a Samsung Galaxy Android. You need to look for Smart View. Uh, so we're gonna see Smart View, if you guys can see it, Smart View right here. I'm gonna hit the Smart View. And now it's gonna start looking for it, and it found it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that one. And then, and then if we wanna accept and start now. Go ahead and accept now. And it's gonna connect now. Now it's gonna connect my phone into the actual system itself. And, and it's evaluating, and there it goes, Mirror. 
So now that we have it going, we can move to different ways. We have our smart view here, and we're gonna go ahead and go into uh, YouTube. So let's go to YouTube. This is my phone playing from Android. If you guys can see it, it's playing it. It's playing one of my videos. I like that it has all that stuff. I put mute right now, but I could pause it if I want. I could pause the video if I want, if you guys can see that. And if I want to change the aspect, you can change it. See how I did it right now? Change it automatically. So, like it. Overall, this powerful little projector can kick butt. It, it does Android, it does iOS, it does computers, and it also it does any kind of USBs too. So, very good. You could have this for your next party. You could have um, you connect your game consoles. You can have it set, in, set up anywhere. Uh, of course, the longer distance you pull back with it, uh, the larger the screen gets. But it also has some zoom in options in there. But very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Ninety nine point six of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.